Hello and welcome back to some Crusade Kings 2. We are living life in Ireland and we are about to try and make an ally. We indeed can gain an ally from this man. An alliance indeed. Now let's see if he will join me against our man in the middle. You're a bit stronger with 1000, so maybe it'd be best not to. I can have a hold two in my demand size, so taking over you would be the way to go. This takes up 85 gold, this here takes up 28 gold, so we're going to go with this. We're going to go for the Ducal Conquest of Tier Ewan. Excellent, he has 722 men. I have fewer, but we're going to call in my ally here. We're going to hope that he joins me and my forces here rather shortly. Actually, we are going to leave the army like that, because I'm going to lead this flank here. Where are my generals? Are they all... Let's uh, press all these buttons. We don't want this getting in the way. I do have commanders. Alright, well, where the heck are they? Okay. Well, let's start to march in this direction. March to here, and then hopefully our friends will be able to join us. Excellent, he has joined, joined us here. So we'll ask him to join our army. What is this? One child lacks an education focus. Uh, Rudri. Okay, you are my nephew. We'll get you to learn some intrigue. You'll be a very useful man later on. You have a sibling, one year old, but of a foreign cause. My son isn't doing terribly good. Maybe we should have taught him intrigue instead, but uh, oh well. In fact, I want to assign myself to his guardianship here. Excellent. Right, hopefully these extra men come over and join us and take the central flank. Excellent, we'll go straight in here. We might have negative terrain, or positive terrain, because it is defensive. Ed of Tyr Urgen. That's him, so he's going to have terrain. The first battle. We've sent our allies in to take the uh, brunt of the attack, and we'll attack here from the flank, losing minimal men. We won't lose terribly men, uh, terribly many men at all. We're in fact losing zero at the moment, as you can see, and our allies are taking all of the losses. I won't complain at that. Very smart move on our part. We might have lost a few men in there, but 101. So we're, we're going, we still have got 600 men here. So we're very good to go and besiege his capital. He has 400 odd men garrisoned. As my own castle, I would like to get my garrison going up a lot more as we go along. But for now, let's besiege these fools. It won't take terribly long, so we'll just full speed ahead until something happens. Oh, my wife is pregnant! That could potentially be an issue because we do still have the bad laws. We need to be at peace, have no negative value opinion guys, and have ruled for 10 years. Oh, we have reigned for 10 years. Okay, after this we're going to try and change the inheritance law to Tanistry. She should rest, gain some health there, more likely to survive the pregnancy. While oh, we're here, we're not actually losing any money, so we might try and besiege through these other areas. Yes, we'll stop swaying this good good friend here. He's uh, he's useful. I'll take my opinion somewhere else. Excellent, we have taken over their capital. It won't take terribly long to take this, so we will do so to get some shekels out of it. And I have a daughter. Excellent. A son would have been uh, perhaps an issue. So, I don't even have my own mother. I don't have a mother. This is... This is terrible. Um... You are. Slain. Usal. Nafir. Jelgus. What shall we name her? Lan. Well, let's go for Lan. A simple, simple name. And 15 prestige. Excellent. My wife, uh, Dub Essa, underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing herself from her recent pregnancy. When she returned home, she was teeming with excitement while taking the Holy Commun Communion. She had a wondrous vision of angels leading our daughter land glory. The child is surely destined for greatness. Of course, he is a child of mine. Should definitely be destined for greatness. Destined for diplomatic greatness. Should be taught in etiquette. My son, however, Ord Mac, Ord Mac. So the Rudri is after me, so I shouldn't call him Rudri. Can I even rename him? No. So he's uh, just Ed. He's Ed. That's his name. Excellent. Very good. An extra 25 gold there, and we have besieged all that we require. Let's offer peace here. 
and become a dual lord. Excellent. We do still have his family under occupation, however. So I don't know what we do with them. Ransom would be the way to go, but nobody would take them. So perhaps you, mean you are unmarried. Oh, these are his children. Of course, they're his children, and he's going to go here. Okay, so let's see if we can ransom over his... Uh, we can banish them. 0.6 gold. Okay, so banishing you is profitable. We'll do that. As for the rest of you, 32. There's no real reason to have you. We're not going to execute you. That would be uh, bad. So we're just going to simply release you. We are a good Christian man. Nuala, again, you're married, so we'll simply release you. Oh, you released into my court. Oh, can I ask you to leave? Oh, that's a waste of five prestige. Uh, and then we have you. We could try to recruit. Could we not? No. I could simply banish you then. That's a shame that I accidentally recruited that other woman. Where is she? She's older. Is it you? No. Is it you? No, but you're of age. It's you. You're in my court. You don't terribly hate me. Maybe we can invite your husband over. No? Well, let's check out our new vassals. We have... Uh, is it just you? Yes, yeah, just you. Braunter. Braunter has joined us. He's, uh, he's a good intriguing man. He does not like us, however. Can we switch to Tanistry? No vassals... Uh, no vassals have a negative opinion. So let's go to our vassals here. Right, you and you both dislike us. Because you're not on our council. Okay, so we might need to give these guys council positions to pass through our law. You are good at what? Well, we could revoke their land and upset everyone. You're good at nothing. Well, that's terrific. We could make you the court chaplain instead of my brother. Yeah, that made everything look better. And the other guy's an intriguist, but I like you as my intriguist. You're good at... You're right at diplomacy and a little bit of... Uh, right there... We could just give you a random position like Marshal. We do need our troops though. We have a very good council. And I like you. Then we could give it to you. Now you like us. Excellent. Tanistry, here we come. Terrific. And I am going to vote for the current son. Oh, he's a bit of a homosexual, but that's that's fine. We'll, we'll vote for him anyway. We won't hold that against him. Who are electors? Just me for now. But I'm sure other people will pop up at some point. Oh, he's a skilled tactician. So he's... He's still pretty terrible. I can't send him away to learn anywhere. Who else has a vote? The other elector is you, my steward. Because you're a, of a town. You're also of a town. So this here should belong to me, but it belongs to you. Ha. Huh. Well, I like you. Anyway, let's put down our army. We could potentially take him on. We do have our friend here of 500 men, personally. He has a son. I don't think I have any women, though. Just my zero-year-old daughter, so we won't send her over for some inbreeding with these individuals. She's my daughter, so maybe we'll give her a matrilineal match to, uh, to you, Rodri. Keep you in the family line. Rage betrothal to Lan. Matrilineal, of course. Excellent. That keeps your bloodline into my direct descendants. As for my son, though, I wonder how we can get you married off. I mean, alliances aren't too important. I mean, limiting myself to one alliance is sort of silly, but maybe one alliance with over 1,000 men. Maybe I should uh, play with multiple smaller alliances. That would make good sense of something to do. I don't want to have alliances all over the shop because it does get a bit silly. Overpowered. Not silly is not the word. Overpowered is the word. Now, what are you doing? Defending against Norway. Ah. And the Yorkists. You are in the same war? Okay, Dunbars. Maybe we could. Betrove uh, that guy to one of yours. Oh, no, it's my... Who is it? No, it's my son, of course. Maybe these here Welsh could still be an option, though. No. You are independence. She's only one years old. Okay, we'll leave it for now. He can he can wait until he's a bit older before he gets married. Someone laughed at me. I will find the culprit and make him or her choke on their laughter. I think we already found him. 
When I found out who it was who had laughed at me, I tried to swallow my pride, but I choked on it and it managed to escape. Now Mayor Patrick won't talk to me. Why? I thought we were friends, Mayor Patrick. Patrick, please. I thought we were the best of friends. We went on an adventure together. We did some good things. Oh well, uh, let's have a look at the cancel. We'll get these positions in again. Minor titles, everything appears to be in order. Religion. Ah. And I doubt we're going to be able to take on anyone else just yet because of the uh, laws at hand. We need piety of 100 before we can deal with any of these falls. We could, however, attempt to fabricate a claim. Now, you're not the worst at your job. We could try it. I would like the Duchy of Ulster. Do you have an alliance? No, you don't. So you are the weakest option here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll send you to fabricate a claim on Ulster. Or, I mean, not Ulster, but... Whichever county this is. Uh, Aragalia. I'm not going to be able to get it pronounced correctly. But this guy. We're going to attempt to get a claim on this guy. What is this? Ooh, Port County's experience tax collecting issues. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers along the coast recently. Worse, there is a rumour among the kind of folk that the pirates are being aided by Islander agents. What is this? Today I was approached by my half-brother, Don Chad. Apparently he is concerned about my health and thinks I am becoming too frail and thin. If I keep eating too little, he says, I will no soon be no longer wield a sword, pleasure a woman, or even just go out riding. Maybe I should eat a bit more. Maybe. As for you, we cannot get this alliance. Would be a useful alliance. You are uh, allied yourself, which is why I'm uh, putting off fighting you. Ah, I must say, I do not approve of the tone of your last letter. Accusing others to try and obscure your own failings and keeping your realm safe only leaves you looking like a final fool. I should speedy recovery from your paranoia, he says. I lose prestige or... No, 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 no. I would gain some prestige and fire back at the man. What is this? Don Chad was right. I feel a lot stronger and healthier since I took on my new diet. So I'm almost ashamed of how pathetic little creep I was. Ah. It appears I am now fat and 40 years old. Oh, I've been on a while, eh? Uh, you are the worst kind of scum to frame and then attack in such a vile way. Those who have been so loyal and steadfast towards you. You are a bloated fool and I would not wish upon anyone's misfortune of making packs or agreements with you. This fucking fool. This man is very rude. We must go after him. We must go after him for our holdings. He has 1,000 men and zero allies. I have 600 odd and... You to support me. I will take back this holding here. He is a dick. He deserves to be declared war upon. I will take my holdings. Now call in my good friends. I hope he does join as he says he will. Right, we must call up all of our men at once. We must get them all to our capital here. Only four from this province. You've got to be kidding me. Excellent. I want all of you to uh, join us over here if you can. I need all of your men. Excellent, let's merge up these troops. I would like... Let's put you on the other flank here. I'll keep my men on one flank and the other flank and hope that he is in the centre. We'll have our best commander, Dom Heil, over here and then I will lead the other flank. No, I'll lead my, my main men. We'll get you on the other flank so maybe hold it a bit easier. Excellent, let's go and besiege this church. Or should we try to take on his army first while we have the numbers? Excellent, we'll catch some people here. But he has the terrain, we have slightly num more numbers, but we have better tactics. We'll be able to destroy this flank, I'm sure. Good, victory to us. I should have slowed down the game to enjoy the battle a bit more, but we... Uh, the tactics came through for us. We barely lost any men. And we managed to outflank him in the centre here. So we'll kill a fair few men as he routes off. And let's kill this one man here as well while we can. And let's go around and besiege the uh, the chapel which we are after. And that should be good enough on the war score, I think. That man is dead. Very good. We'd have a good position here to hold off their men from a counter-attack. But they wouldn't attack if we were there. 
so we won't gain any war scores. We're just going to simply sit here and besiege this. Vatican outrage. Letters have been sent out to the whole Catholic world from the Vatican. The Pope has demanded a stop to the beautification of sinful people and revoked the rights from the rest of the clergy to do so. From now on, the granting of beautification will be given out by the Pope personally. The Vatican will no longer stand more shameful examples like the wrongful beautification of Vinguala di Meggio in its name. Now, only the truly pious followers of Christ will be granted reverence of the faith. The recent uh, disagreement has brought on a lack of faith and the authority of the church. What did she do? She was blessed, beautified. Oh, that's a shame for them. But uh, we're fine over here. This is this is Ireland. We're we're good with the faith. We haven't misbehaved at all. Right, our enemies are going to our castle, but we have besieged Derry, and we are successful. So we will go back in here to attack them, and hopefully, ah, we could have an extra twenty-eight men. I will do that. We'll gain these extra twenty-eight men. We'll put them on that their flank to make it much stronger. Excellent. Let's go with these extra 28 men and let's win the battle over here. I'm sure we'll win. We've beat them before. They might have terrain. They had terrain over here as well. Excellent. We have no central leader though. That's a huge shame. We might lose this flank here before. Ah. The windy weather is getting to me. Turning to the sky, I take a deep breath. The pompous soldiers of Queen Ran Vague, oh, we're fighting a woman this time, have been sending their best at me, and my limbs are becoming heavier with each step I take. I don't think so. I'll duel this commander myself. He has a skill of 13. I have a skill of minus 14, so I won't do that. I think I'll rest behind this tree for a moment. I gain Craven, potentially, or I accept my injury. It protects the land. 80% chance of Brave. Excellent. Did I gain brave? I did not. But this battle is quite at risk and we have actually lost. We were so close to defeating the central flank. Not quite good enough. We needed a general on that centre. Hopefully we get away without too many losses. Ah, 300. That's a shame. But we still have more men than our enemy. He's going to be distracted here for a little while. So hopefully we get our forces all back together again. See if we can meet them around here somewhere. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have more men. See if we can meet them here. 795. Excellent. Let's go somewhere where we'll have the terrain bonus and regroup for a bit. Are we able to get any retinues? No, we are not. We don't have anywhere near enough cap. We could, however, hire a lot of men, but that's that's overkill. We wouldn't waste so much money on this, this simple chapel. What we'll do, however, is move some men onto the centre here. Not only totally many, we'll put our best commander in the centre to try and hold it this time. It's a shame I can't have another commander, though. I do still have an unmarried heir, and there's not much I can do with him. There is the Dunbar. The Dunbars keep looking at me. Otherwise, there's not anybody uh, of a suitable age. You know what? We'll take her. She's going to be the best option, so we'll take the Dunbar woman. Excellent. We barely have... Superior numbers, though, so we'll simply leave him there to uh, to struggle for a bit, and we'll keep this defensive position. There's not anywhere else I can raise men. They are. Is it here? No. It is here. Very good. Very good. I'm glad at that. An extra 39 men is great. Not sure where to put them, though. He did have a strong other flank, so we might just strengthen our centre a bit. And then hope that we can hold it out and win on the other flank and then support it. I think that'll be the way to go. I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be victorious, but I won't do it this episode. Come back next time to see the results of the next battle. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for supporting the channel. I hope you are enjoying this slower-paced, more story-driven campaign where Rodri is uh, is doing his part. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.